What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Solvice. Thanks for joining me once again. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Today we are taking a look at the Nike Dunk High and the Iowa or Black and Varsity Maze colorway. I'm going to give you an in-depth review on these. I'm going to let you know exactly what I think about them. I'll let you know about all the details I think you should know about before you decide whether or not this is a shoe you want to cop for yourself. And as always, you're going to be getting buttery smooth 4K on feet footage and B-roll to go with that. And of course, if you end up liking this video, do me a huge favor, hit that like button. It really helps out. Also make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and hit the notification bell. That way you're notified when I post new videos just like this one. Now this shoe right here barely missed my top 10 shoes of 2020 list. It was really, really high up there for me this year. This is an incredible colorway. This is very similar to the pair of Wu-Tang Dunks that released years ago. As far as I can tell, really the only difference is that pair has yellow lining up here on the tongue. And then of course you've got your Wu-Tang logo. So this is a classic colorway. This has come out a few times but this is an OG colorway and I'm a huge fan of black and yellow as far as just color combinations go. And I don't have any black and yellow shoes in my collection yet. So I was really, really looking forward to getting a pair of these. I actually copped these because very long story short, I had some goat credit from selling a pair of Air Max 95 Neons that don't fit me. And I just happened to look at these and I was super surprised that the resale on these is almost non-existent. These were pretty much going for retail. So I didn't even think about it. I just ended up copying these with that credit that I had on GOAT, and I'm extremely glad that I did. Now the Nike Dunk is a super special shoe. It has played a huge role in Nike's history. Not only was this shoe incredible in its own right, but it's kind of like the 1.0 version of the Air Jordan 1. This shoe is really similar to the Air Jordan 1. It just lacked the air sole technology, um, and obviously the shape is a little bit different as well. But it was designed by Peter Moore, same guy who designed the Air Jordan 1, and his name isn't quite as, I guess, famous as like Tinker Hatfield, but I definitely think he deserves a lot of props for designing these and the Air Jordan 1. Taking a look at the upper here, we've got a full leather upper done in this black and varsity maze. Incredible colorway. The leather they used here is actually a pretty decent leather, nice and soft. It's got some decent kind of like natural tumble to it. Really happy with the materials used here. And you've got a black tongue with a Varsity Maze Nike logo up there up at the top. This is a similar tongue to what you find on the Air Jordan 1, but it's a little bit rougher. It's almost like a canvas instead of a soft nylon. Straight out of the box, they're going to be laced up with this Varsity Maze pair of laces. You also get a white pair but I put the black pair on. I think that looks the best on this pair of shoes. Let me know down in the comments which pair of laces you think look best on these. And something worth mentioning is the laces just kind of come like tied to the shoe without a bag. So I kind of wish they did have their own bag like they usually have with Nikes because it makes it a little bit better for storage. I feel like they're gonna get dirty just kind of like, I don't know, sitting out in the open, but that's just me. Now the sole unit on these is a rubber cup sole just like the Air Jordan 1. Shape very similar to the Air Jordan 1 as well with a white midsole and a Varsity Maze outsole. Super, super vibrant. One strange thing though about the outsole is of course you've got that iconic star print. And for whatever reason on this pair of Dunks, it's really like kind of like subtle. Whereas on a lot of pairs of Air Jordans and other pairs of Dunks that I've seen, the stars are a little bit better pronounced. So that's not really a good or a bad thing. Just something I thought was worth mentioning. Now the insole on these is glued down, so I'm not gonna pull it out, but hopefully you can see you've got a Varsity Maze insole there with a black Nike logo stamped there on the heel. And this is actually a polyurethane insole, which I much prefer to those crappy foam insoles that they put in Air Jordan 1 sometimes. So I am glad they went with the polyurethane here on these. Now, as far as sizing goes on these, I went true to size and they actually do fit really similarly to Air Jordan 1s in my opinion. So for me, that means there's a little bit of extra room. I could probably half size down and they'd still be comfortable, but I prefer the way that they feel true to size. As far as comfort goes, I'm one of those weird people who actually really likes the way that Nike Dunks feel on feet. Same thing with Air Jordan 1s. A lot of people complain about these shoes and say they're super uncomfortable. Maybe it's the fact that I grew up wearing Vans and Chuck Taylors, but I am used to wearing shoes with rubber soles. And these are pretty much like that, but nicer. So I'm a big fan of the way that these feel on feet. But if you're used to any of the shoes that I just mentioned, just know they're gonna feel very similar to those. All right, guys, let me know down in the comments. Did you end up picking up a pair of the Iowa or Varsity Maze or Wu-Tang Dunks, or are you planning to pick up a pair now that you've seen the review? Other than that though, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.